Ah, n-ai pas, n-ai pas, sigur. S-a băie lui Galuca. Morning, it's a boy man came and kill it here guys. I'm in the Tuk Tuk and currently I'm in Diani and I'm gonna tell you a little bit history about this place which you have never heard before. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of the video. There's a Look at this guys <laughs> Only in Mombasa <laughs> Oh another one Is it going to be now? Is it going to be now? Is it going Beach road 2.8 kilometers, but unfortunately, we're not going to the beach. You can see, guys, beach road, but we're not going to the beach. And today, you see me on official because I have a meeting here in this side. But after the meeting, I'm gonna tell you about a very, very beautiful history about this place. So stay tuned. Five years in a row, Diani Beach in Kenya, South Coast, has been named African leading beach destination at World Travel Awards. Majority of you guys who are living in Kenya or outside Kenya have ever heard about Diani. In fact, many people in Kenya love coming for holidays in Diani or for birthdays in Diani. They enjoy themselves. Even they, the government has decided to rename, or I guess they have already renamed the airport from Ukunda Airstrip to Diani Airport. You know, if a lot of people hear, hey, you, I'm going to Diani, and they are hearing about Ukunda, some people confuse. But they, uh, Diani is not located in Mombasa. Majority of you people think, oh, Diani is in Mombasa, but Diani is in Kwale County. Kwale County in coast province in, in coast province there are around three counties or four no three i guess which are kwale county mombasa county and kilifi county and lamu county yeah So guys, after they're renaming the airport also to Diani Airport, they're also increasing the runway from uh, the, the length which it was to a bigger length so that big planes can land there. The South Coast is also steadily becoming a tourist destination of choice, not only in, in, in Kenya but in Africa, beating other destinations like Cape Town, in south africa and also zanzibar which is in tanzania as much of you guys know about that
drinking, man. Since Kenya got independent, Diani was always one of the best places for tourists and people to visit. But everything changed in August 13, 1997. Some local people decided that all these other people who are coming here to make this place a better place, they are gonna go away. On that day, violence lounge caused a lot of terror for weeks in a place where was a resort area Local raiders carrying traditional weapons attacked a police station and a police post at ferry. The raiders then killed six police officers and stolen more than 40 guns. More than 40 guns, guys, proceeding to carry out a violent rampage in this area, burning all locals or most of the local kiosks and offices building and also killing people after identifying them that there were not whether were non-locals or people who were coming from up country the other places uh, of kenya so this this happened during the night so they attacked the police station during a night of uh, the night and uh, the next morning uh, security forces arrived and the raiders went hiding in the forest, which I guess it was called Kaya Bombo. I'm not sure about the name of the forest. But the violence didn't stop there. The violence continued. They, they really uh, looted a lot of things. Uh, a lot of people were displaced. And this violence continued till 1997 November. Can you imagine all of this time? People who came there invested on uh, doing their staffs, business, people who had constructed a lot of beautiful hotels, man. This, uh, I can just imagine the terror people went through. As you can see in the video, this place is very, very beautiful, very nice. As you can see guys, the Punda airstrip That's the way to cross We need to cross this road man And there is no zebra crossing here Finally guys, we just crossed The best thing is that the violence ended and people recovered and right now Diani is one one of the best 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 places to visit in Kenya. In fact not only in Kenya but this placement it has the best sandy beaches across Africa and a lot of people especially Kenyans forget about international uh, traveler or international tourists the local tourists are really really promoting this area and if you haven't come to Diani yet please just make a day or prepare yourself so that you can come and see for yourself why people always come to this place it is just a um, one hour drive from Mombasa you can just cross the ferry then get a public transport or if you have a private car you can come cross the ferry and drive yourself to Diani. 
but very very soon you people won't be using the ferry cause Kenya is really really developing their infrastructure especially the roads right now they're constructing the bridge which will be used to cross uh, to cross to from Mombasa to Kwale County after Kwale County it will be a very very smooth ride for you to go to uh, Diani if you don't like using the ferry and very very soon the road is gonna be completed and also there is a new highway which is constructed from Tanzania uh, Bagamoyo to Malindi so that highway will pass through the Diani to Mombasa road so a lot of a lot of you guys who love going to that place will have a very very smooth highway and a very very nice road so that you can use it to go to Diani and if you are enjoying the road tour or the town tour of Ukunda or this is the road which I was walking it's called the beach road if you're enjoying this tour please consider giving this video a like I would really really appreciate about that That was it guys, thank you so much for watching, thank you so much for watching, I'll catch you in my next video. As we head back to Mombasa. These are the transport here. It's only a hundred bob. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>